the witch as well. Later that evening, I returned to the castle esplanade, alone this time. Walking up the worn, shiny stone steps, I think of my experience with my family earlier that day in the Edinburgh dungeons, going on trial for being a witch. I think of the 300 plus witches that were burnt at the stake on Edinburgh Castle Esplanade all those centuries ago. And I think of the many more who were drowned in the lake in the now beautiful Princess Street Gardens, as well as those victimised and vilified for living their truth all around Scotland, the UK and all around the world. And I knew there was a small memorial to these witches on the right of the entrance to the castle Esplanade as you walk up towards Edinburgh Castle. And here is what sprung forth. A fierce fury at the witch as well. I stop at the witch as well and take a photo. This small plaque commemorates them, the witches. My mind is alight with questions. Who were they? What were their names? And what were their stories? And why had I not noticed this plaque before in all of my time living and working in this city? And looking up, I wonder, was this their last view? All the way down the Royal Mile, from the castle esplanade, looking out over to the sea. I stand a moment longer and, bowing my head, in reverence to them, I quietly pay my respects. I turn to leave, and suddenly I feel this surge of volcanic power vibrate through me. A molten lava-like heat takes my breath away. This extinct volcano that I'm standing on, commemorating these witches, is awakening a fierce fury within me, from the belly of the earth right up to my very core. It's so intense, I have to move. And as I walk back down the way I came, they speak to the rhythm of my marching feet. And they say, witches, rise up, return to your power. Witches, rise up, now is the hour. Witches, rise up and step on to your throne. Witches, rise up. It's time to come home. And this four-line mantra whispered on repeat to me as I walked down the hill and made my way home, perfectly timed to my gate. It was like the witches were celebrating with me as I marched and walked with their activating whispers towards the set setting Scottish summer sun, all the way to freedom.